Akira in Toronto, Canada writes, is there an ideal size for a low frequency driver? Some manufacturers like JBL prefer to use large 15 inch high powered drivers, while most of the high end audiophile systems I see have multiple smaller drivers. Is there an advantage or disadvantage when it comes to diaphragm surface area? What's the coupling effect of multiple smaller ones? Well, I think first off, we talked about this a few days ago, actually. Subwoofers typically have big drivers. When you talk about JBL, I am assuming you're looking at a JBL sub because most full range loudspeakers have nothing bigger than maybe a 10 inch, and that's because of the baffle size. In a stand up speaker that has a tweeter in a mid range, you want to have a narrow baffle for best sonics for the mid-range and the tweeter. So that dictates the size of the woofer, unless you want to put the woofer in the side of the speaker. Now, one of the models we did of the original FR30 that never saw the light of day used dual 12s, opposing 12s, and they were on the sides of the speaker, and that, was, that worked great as long as the frequency didn't get too high because then they become directional. But if you're going to put your drivers in the front of a speaker so they're facing you, they've got to be fairly small, eight inch, probably about optimum, six and a half. When you, so a second part of the question, when you use multiple eight inch drivers or six and a half inch drivers, they couple extremely well. They act as one driver. And one of the advantages over a big driver is, of course, a smaller driver can go higher without any trouble, where a 15-inch driver can't. So it can only go so high before it starts having all kinds of sonic problems. But a 6.5, and a half, an 8 can go considerably higher in frequency to meet the mid-range. And if you have enough of them, they couple in the low frequencies beautifully. Now, they don't, if you have too many of them and you're trying to take them too high, now you do have a problem. Not in the bass, but in the mid-range. And the, the lower or the upper part of the woofer, the lower part of the mid-range. So some companies, uh, Arnie Nudell, Infinity, a number of other companies do a progressive crossover where it, let's say you had four eight inch drivers and they all at the low frequencies couple together perfectly to make the same as say a 15 inch driver. But then as the frequency goes up, the lower ones start to turn off and then at the very end, only the top one is producing that high frequency and then on down. And that works, that progressive crossover works very well to try and, and couple it. But generally, the size of a woofer is um, I, I, when you say what is the ideal bass driver, you need the cumulative, for bass, you need the cumulative surface area and the excursion and the ability for it to move air. That's what's really critical. So you look more at excursion and total area of the, the drivers being used. Hope that helps. Thanks.